Coach, talk about how the past couple weeks have gone. Uh, it's been a whirlwind, as uh, Tony, they have really gone well. Uh, we've been all over the place trying to solidify the recruiting class, and uh, every chance I've gotten, I've tried to get my current offensive lineman in to visit with them, get to know them well, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been different, but uh, whirlwind is probably the best way to describe it. You said you talked to some of the returning offensive linemen. How did those conversations go? Good, real good. You know, they're, uh, they're all excited uh, about getting started. Uh, you know, we've got a heck of a challenge in front of us. Uh, we graduated four out of five starters, mm -hmm. and so there are some great opportunities for a lot of young guys to step up and play and uh, start, and uh, I am really excited about getting going myself. In your eyes, what makes for a good offensive line? Production. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, you know, you look for a lot of different qualities in offensive linemen. You know, uh, obviously they have to have enough size to play uh, against the people that we play against. But uh, beyond that, um, uh, I look for tenacity. I like for my offensive linemen to, to be extremely aggressive, play hard, uh, play with a hard motor. Uh, you like fluid, athletic players that are strong and uh, and of course smart and these uh, this day of college football uh, defenses are are very multiple uh, they change uh, rapidly before each play sometimes and so uh, they have to be really attuned to what they're doing and, uh, and be intelligent uh, uh, but have that intensity level throughout the play how will you go about evaluating those things you just mentioned with the current offensive lineman here? Uh, well, the first thing I'll do is get a good feel for them as, uh, as just people, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in one-on-one -on -one meetings. And uh, then as we progress starting Monday in our uh, strength program, strength conditioning program, I'll, when I'm off the road, I'll be in there as much as I possibly can, just watching and getting a feel for them athletically. And, uh, and then when recruiting's over, we get involved a little bit, so I'll get a better feel for them, and uh, hopefully I'll have uh, a, a pretty good feel for them going into spring practice. And then, uh, it, like I've told them, the, it doesn't matter where they start on the depth chart, it matters where they end up. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, have, a, have a starting point as far as depth, and I'm sure that will change as we uh, progress through spring practice and into fall camp. and. Uh, but it'll be a uh, constant evaluation program, you know, uh, a process, excuse me, and uh, you want to uh, keep that competitive edge with them all the time and never let them feel complacent mm -hmm. uh, in their place. But uh, uh, again, I am really excited about getting started with them. When Coach O'Brien gave you a call and talked about this opportunity, what went through your mind? Well, uh, I've done it for a long, long time, 37 years, and uh, uh, I. Uh, was really uh, ecstatic about coaching at a place like Penn State. Uh, I've been at some really good programs in my career, um, most recently at Texas, and I was at Georgia, Alabama, uh, Georgia Tech, you know, a lot of good players, but they've all been in the South. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a great opportunity for me to see and experience uh, football in a different part of the country and uh, the Big Ten, and uh, I'm just, uh, Really excited about the opportunity and to be here at a uh, storied program like Penn State. Uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, I uh, retired after the uh, 10 season in uh, Texas, and uh, for a year I redshirted, mm -hmm. for a better lack of a better term. And uh, uh, we moved to Athens, Georgia, close to our grandchildren and all. And yeah, you know I'm. An old man, but I'm still in pretty good shape. And uh, everybody kept asking me, I said, are you going to uh, coach again? And I said, you know, for the right place, the right people, I, I certainly would. And as the year progressed, I got more and more uh, excited about maybe a possibility coming up. And when Coach O'Brien, who I worked with at Georgia Tech mm -hmm. in 2000, 2001, uh, called me, uh, it took about five minutes uh, in the conversation till I said, I do, mm -hmm. you know, so uh, I'm really, again, I'm really excited about um, uh, my tenure here at uh, Penn State and uh, uh, really excited about uh, helping Coach uh, O'Brien push it into a uh, 
you know, to, to keep it going to where it's been through Coach Paterno's uh, tenure for half a century. And uh, But I think the new era will be a lot of fun for all of Penn State, Penn State fans, players, uh, everybody involved in the program. How would you describe your coaching style to somebody who doesn't know you? Uh, I am uh, a high energy, uh, uh, very aggressive as a coach. Uh, I tell my players that nothing great has ever been achieved without enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I want our kids uh, up front to hit the field with uh, a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, be a leader of the offense. You know, we're 44% of the offense. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have to perform every time. And so I, I, I really want them to feel that from me, you know, and uh, uh, very positive, uh, demanding. And, uh, but uh, I think I'm fair with them and I really like my players. Uh, uh, the relationships I've had through the past 37 years uh, have been absolutely wonderful. Uh, and they continue today with former players and uh, that's why I'm in the business and uh, I'm just, uh, I've, the players that I've met with here, the offensive line, uh, they have done a really good job of recruiting character. Uh, and I want to coach character, not characters. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I, I think that is the, the style that kind of bundles me, just energy and enthusiasm. You touched on a couple things, but what were your first impressions of the Penn State campus, the facilities, and some things? Uh, I had been here uh, at two different times. Uh, one, um, in the late 80s, I was coaching at Alabama, and we played Penn State here, and that was the first time I saw the campus. And what great enthusiasm I saw uh, from the Penn State fans at that time. The fans were so enthusiastic then, I remember that uh, vividly. Uh, and then uh, we came up uh, as a staff and visited Penn State at one time, and, and that was before the facility upgrades. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been absolutely blown away by the facilities here. Uh, they are second to none. Uh, just at Penn State athletic program, uh, Dave Joyner and everybody involved have, have done a tremendous job uh, in the arms race of facilities uh, in college football. It's just, I'm, I'm really excited about coaching in this environment. Uh, what a beautiful setting. I mean, just uh, Mount Nittany overlooking into the valley and the college town, and uh, it's a it's what uh, college football is all about. Over the next few weeks leading up to signing day, what's your schedule going to be like? Well, uh, the same that it has been the last two weeks, whirlwind. <laughs> We're, you know, solidifying the recruiting class uh, from this year. And, and then, you know, normally you wouldn't be trying to uh, get to know your players mm -hmm. because you already know them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't. So well, that's been something that we're trying to, to uh, get going. And then the evaluation of the players, uh, as we talked about earlier. So uh, all those factors will be in place, and then in, an, in today's recruiting, uh, we'll really work hard to get a jump on a lot of insight of 2013 mm -hmm. prospects. So uh, it'll be a, it'll continue to be little sleep, lot of hours. Coach, finally, you've worked at one of the best programs in the nation at Texas, like you talked about. Now you're at another one at Penn State. What does this opportunity mean to you personally? Uh, what did, does the opportunity mean for me? Uh, it is, uh, I'm, I'm, this will be my last hurrah, and I am uh, really excited about finishing it at a place like Penn State that uh, with the, uh, the storied program that it is and uh, to experience coaching in the Northeast. Uh, I think it is a great way to, uh, to end many, many years of, of coaching, and I like, I hope I do it here for a lot of years before I do um, uh, put it up for good, but uh, it, it means a lot to me. It, uh, I think it will be, uh, uh, Coach O'Brien, I think, is a, uh, I'm really excited to see where all his future goes, you know. Mm -hmm. I hope it's like Joe Pa for the next 50 years here, uh, but, and I do think he'll stay here a long time, and it'll be exciting to be a part of jump-starting that. Mm -hmm. Coach, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks Thank for your you time. Thank you very much.